Welcome to Twin Cherry Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to improve the visuals of your games on Dolphin Emulator using HD texture packs. Now before we begin, I hate doing this kind of thing so I'll be quick, but 99% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel and I understand why. You get the information you need and you don't need me again. So I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, although it will help, but I am going to ask you to hit the like button if you find the information useful. Sorry to be that guy. Let's get back to the tutorial. Let's take a look at using texture packs on Dolphin Emulator. Now this can severely affect your performance. So if it is affecting your performance, then just take the texture packs out. It does depend on the system. You're gonna need a high end phone for this. I'm using a Snapdragon 888 on the Xiaomi 11T Pro. You're gonna need a Windows PC to do this as well. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a backup of our Dolphin data because Android in its infinite wisdom and glory has now changed to scoped storage, which means that you cannot get access and you cannot write to the data. In the old days, you should be able to write all of this. You should be able to just copy all of this over to the data file and it would work lovely jubbly, but there are now a few loopholes. And luckily the fantastic developers at Dolphin Emulator have figured out a way around this and they've implemented it into the emulator itself. But I just want to say thank you to those guys for all their hard work so we hit the settings cog we go to config we go to user data and we just click export user data find a place on your phone that you want it to be so i'm just going to put it in this folder here the roms file click save and it's going to export a zip file for me to use on my computer and then i move over to my computer i plug my phone in and i give it access to my phone so let's leave Dolphin Emulator and let's plug my phone into my computer and then click File Transfer. Once on my computer, I'm going to click into my phone, go to the ROMs file. I'm going to find this dolphin.emu.zip and I'm going to copy that to my computer. I'm just going to pop that on my desktop. So if you click the link in the description down below for our texture packs, it'll bring you to this forum. And this forum is the place where all of the Dolphin texture packs are being collated at this moment in time. It is a fantastic resource. There are a lot of hardworking people getting these texture packs out, doing fantastic work. So I'm just going to search for the game that I'm going to use as an example here. So I'm going to use Super Mario Sunshine because there is a lovely painted texture pack that I like to use. And it also shows that the texture packs do affect the game as well. So I'm going to type in Super Mario Sunshine Painted because that's the, that's the edition that I want, Painted Edition. Click Go. It's going to search through the entire forum. And then Super Mario Sunshine Painted Edition. And it brings me to this bit here, which has the links to download it. So there's a link to a Google Drive. I'm going to click on that. Now, always be careful when you're downloading things. I've never had any issues with um, this website so far but you do this at your own risk. I have to say that just in case. So I'm gonna right click that and click download. It's gonna download my texture pack. If you go back to the forum, you can find a bunch of other games as well. You can click through or you can just search the name of the game plus the word texture and you'll probably find a texture pack there. And see there's texture packs for Super Mario Galaxy 2, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, all the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask and the Collector's Edition stuff as well. Wind Waker, some fantastic work by some fantastic people. I really do appreciate all of the work that they put into these texture packs. So once you've got your file for your HD texture packs, you're going to want to extract it all. So right click, click extract all, and then extract. And what we want is this folder here that has GMS as the label, that is the game code. And you're going to want to make sure that the game code matches the game code in the game. So if we go back to Dolphin Emulator on our phone, and we scroll down, we find Super Mario Sunshine. Right click and we click details. And you can see it's GMSE01. GMS will work fine the first three digits here. Or if you want to be super sure, you can add E01 to the end of that. Okay, so now we need to get this GMS file into our dolphin-emu.zip. So we'll extract all of this. Click extract all. Click extract. Once that's extracted, you can see we have this dolphin-emu folder here. We can delete this. And then we just open a new open dolphin-emu in a new window. Let's put them side by side. Go to load, go to textures in dolphin-emu, and then just drag the GMS into it and copy them over. So what we need to do is we need to get this back into a compressed zip format. So if we double-click dolphin-emu, and then we select everything here, now right click and click compress to zip file. And that's gonna 
compress it all into a nice little zip folder for us so that we can then put it back on our phone and import it back into Dolphin. And then we just need to name our zip file dolphin-emu and copy it over to our Android phone. So I'll bring them up side by side, go to internal storage, to my ROMs folder, delete the current version of dolphin-emu.zip on my phone and then just copy the new one over. Once that's complete, we're going to move back to our Android phone, open Dolphin, go to the settings cog, go to config, go to user data and click import user data, find the dolphin-emu.zip. It says, are you sure you want to place your user data with the data in this file? Yep. I'm going to import that. And this might take some time as well because we are importing 1.1 gigabytes of texture files. And there we go. The user data has been imported. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. And now we just want to make sure that we're going to be loading our custom textures in. So if I go to the settings cog, go to graphic settings, scroll down, go to advanced. And where it says load custom texture mods, that is ticked. And I also tick prefetch custom textures. So that's before the game, it puts the textures into the system RAM. If you're having problems with stuttering and things like that, then you're going to want to turn this off. But if you have a high end device, then you're not going to have that much of a problem. So let's take a look at these texture mods. We'll go to Super Mario Sunshine. And you can see in the top left corner, it says custom textures loaded. 2,943.1 megabyte has been loaded in. And Super Mario Sunshine Painted Edition is now here. And as you see, Mario has this lovely painted look to him. And a lot of the boxes and the text and things like that have been changed. Now this might not be your cup of tea as far as texture mods are concerned. There are some that just do HD versions of the original textures, but I, I kind of like this one because it is a bit of fun. What did Nintendo on their inability to skip cutscenes? Trying to make a video. There we have it, Super Mario is all painted up. All the textures look nice and saucy. If you've played this game a lot, you will notice a lot of a difference within the textures. You can go to settings. Graphic settings, and then let's go to enhancements and internal resolution. Let's try that at 720p. I know it runs at like 24 frames per second. Oh, no, 30 frames per second, 1080, 720p. So it's kind of a little bit HD here, but Mario does look crisp, and so do all the sprites and things like that. So that's everything you need to know to get custom textures up and running on Dolphin Emulator on Android. If you want to see some examples of different types of custom textures, then please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you found this information useful. Uh, I said subscribe to the channel, but you don't need to turn notifications on because I hate notifications and I understand that you don't really want to watch every single video that I put out because not everything is going to relate to what you want to do. But a subscription does help in helping this channel grow and let YouTube think that I actually produce good content, which means I'll be able to make more videos like this in the future and focus more on making videos for Android and focus more on making videos on emulators for Android. I'm going to be making videos for Android, iOS, uh, MacBook, PC. So if that's something you're also interested in, then please let me know down in the comments. And as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, if you're still here watching at the end of this video, please type the word sausage in the comments because uh, I'm, I'm planning to get as many, uh, as many, as many terms, as many, as many uses. I'm planning to get as many uses of the word sausage in my comments just to kind of freak people out. I don't know. I just thought it'd be really funny if people come to these videos to get information. There's just the word sausage in the comments down below. Uh, that's it. Take care, have a wonderful day, have a fantastic new year.